So in this video, we're looking at the equation of a plane in 3D. Now, before I start talking about the equation of a plane in 3D, let's take a look at the equation of a line in 2D. So you've done lines before. In order to define a line, you need two things. You need a point and another point. If you've got two points, you can draw a line between them and you can find an equation of that line like that. Now, there is a second way to do that. You don't just need two lines, you can do it a different way. You can find a line, a gradient, and then you can draw a line just with the same gradient and through that point. Same line. So there's two ways to define the uh, a line in 2D. Now let's look at 3D. Alright, so here's my 3D graph, and now I'm going to find the equation of a plane. Now, if I've got a point, that doesn't define a plane. If I've got another point, that doesn't really define a plane either. What I need to define a plane is three points. If I have three points, I can draw a plane through those three points. And that plane's going to have an equation like that. Now, that's one way to define a plane. There is another way to define a plane. Let's take a look. If I know just one point, here's my point here, and I can draw a vector from that point. Okay, so you can see there's a vector. I can draw a plane that's perpendicular to that, to that vector, passing through that point. So you can see the plane is at a 90 degree angle to that vector. Okay, and obviously that's going to have an equation as well um, there. So, what do we need to sum up? Let's sum up real quick, take some notes. In 2D, we can define the equation of a line in two ways. That's using two points, or one point in the gradient, and the equation of a line is ax plus by plus c equals zero. That's general form. Now, in 3D, which is what we're more concerned with, we can define the equation of a plane in two ways using three points, or one point and a perpendicular vector, or a perpendicular line. Now the equation of that plane is going to be ax plus by plus cz equals d. That's enough for this video. Take those notes. Uh, in the next one, you'll actually find out how to calculate or how to come up with the equation of a plane.